Okay, so we've got a new bit of kit in the shop today. The Relilaser Cutter Cleaner Welder and the uh, 70 watt blue diode uh, cutter. And you can mount the laser cutter on the gantry. So this is going to be quite exciting. So let's have a little look round. Um, first of all, your normal hole for the spool. You know, get a five kilo spool in there. Got your twin rollers sprung loaded, which is nice. Around the back, got your usual ports. Got your uh, interface port, um, your gas in, on off switch. Your gun uh, coils up nicely on the side. Now this gantry is quite big. It's about just over one meter one wide or square with an 800 by 800 cutting bed. And that 70 watt diode is, I'm assuming a sculpt fun diode because this is in association with sculpt fun. As you know, quite a well known manufacturer. All your cables plug in there, USB, air pump, your power in and your power for the fan at the back, which is pretty powerful, but also pretty noisy. It certainly sucks the, the air out or the, the fumes out, which is only a major problem when you've got an open gantry like this. You need plenty of ventilation. Luckily, I've got plenty of that in here. The power cable to the machine is very long, which is nice. I've got it plugged into a 32 amp outlet. So let's try some steel welding. We've got one mil carbon steel here. It runs nicely, you can, same as most of them, you can feel it push you along the wire. And that's come out nice. It does take a, a little bit of getting used to, getting the angle right. But, uh, oh, come on, focus. Focus, focus, focus. Hang on, I'll zoom in. Maybe that'll help. Come on, zoom in, not out. There you go, you can see just about. That's quite nice. Right, let's try some stainless. This again is one mil. The gun is very comfortable. Very nice shape. It's a nice balanced machine. It's uh, comfortable in the hand. That's another nice one. Look at that bit of stainless. So I'm going to change the nitrogen for argon because we're going to have a go at some aluminium now. So you can use nitrogen for cutting and welding, stainless and carbon, but you need argon for aluminium. So we'll change it to aluminium. Go to 2 mil because that's what we got this time. And we go for inner fillet welding. Let's see what happens. Obviously I changed the wire in between. This is, uh, I think it's 5356 or something like that. It's the harder one of the two. So it pushes up the liner easy. It's getting a bit warm, that. Yeah, if you use a softer wire, it, it can bird's nest and doesn't push up the wire, up the, the feeder very well. But this, this one does. Oh, that's very hot still. Look at that. That's nice. I've never been any good at aluminium welding. Let's have a little look. Even with the TIG, I'm hopeless at, at Ali. I'm just okay with my spool gun, but that is going to be a game changer for me for aluminium. Laser, laser, switch to cleaning mode. Cleaning mode is already. So, so that was the uh, voice control. Um, you can ask it to do several things. Turn the power up and down, switch modes, um, which is quite handy if you're quite a way away from the machine where you're working. As you can see, this cleans quite nicely. I don't know if there is a set distance you should be away, but um, that worked pretty well. Quite impressed with that. That's the first time I've used the cleaning mode. Give a wire brush over that and it'd be pucker. 
So, let's try some cutting. This is what you've all been waiting for. We've got it set on cutting. Everything else is at zero, except, obviously, be a power at 100%. So we've mounted the gun on the gantry. And we've now changed from nitrogen or argon over to compressed air from the old compressor. And we're running at quite a high PSI, running at 150 PSI. Now your focus, press your down and your auto focus together, and the gun will um, sense. I don't quite know how it does it. But it'll come down to the material and then it'll go right way back down and you think it's stopped but if you watch it and watch it watch it gradually it's moving very very slowly back up and all of a sudden you'll get a couple of beeps and that'll be it done it's confirming that it's done its thing And once it's done its thing, we can get cutting. So let's click start. We're starting on something very simple, my logo. Because this is all new to me as well. So I'm starting off basic. I've never used one of these gantries for um, diode cutting or anything or engraving. I've never never experienced one. So it's, I've had to learn light burn pretty sharpish. You see how that dropped out? Come on, focus, look at that. That's lovely. Really pleased with that. This is going to be quite handy for all sorts of little things. I think the arc droid's going to take a bit of a, a step back. That'll be perfect for the big stuff, but this is going to be perfect for anything that wants detail. So let's try another couple of things. See what they come out like. Now this, I normally cut at about, I don't know, 10 or 12 inches tall. <laughs> and as you can see, it's tiny. We'll take a look at that in a minute. I just want to show you one more. Now this is something I use uh, on quite a regular basis. I normally cut these out um, with the plasma. I just wanted to see what the difference is between that and this. You can see how fine the line is. It's almost like a, literally a hair's width. And it's not particularly slow. This is three mil steel. All the other stuff so far I've shown you has been two mil. This is now three. Look at that, everything just pops out. And yeah, the detail on that is so much better than on the plasma. The plasma used to struggle with these holes. They were never um, particularly accurate. Those were, you know, a bit wobbly and wibbly. But this one is, is very much more accurate. Let's just knock those out. That's better. Yeah, that's lovely. Look at that sharp, clean edges. Yeah, that's going to be a bit of a game changer for uh, things I do. 
but this being such a big footprint is going to be absolutely perfect for a lot of bigger jobs things like let me just show you see if I can show you the animal heads like if I can get you up there that one up there on the wall that's a ram's head obviously um, but this one is from Joshua Delisle he does several different things ram horse I think he's got a stag a cow but they come in kit form you get the patterns and you can cut them out and build them yourself and this footprint being 800 by 800 is going to be absolutely perfect for doing that sort of thing so it's absolutely pucker these are another few things I did earlier um, I use those on the white line machines I normally do them with the plasma but wanted to see what they come out like with the laser and they are much much better um, that as I say I'm quite impressed with that I just wanted to do small everything small so I could get detail see, or see how much detail I could get because this is going to be great if I wanted to do sign work um, and like on these hairs the detail there I know again I normally cut them about a foot long that bar in the middle of that that's under a millimeter wide it's just incredible and though that crow's legs are even narrower it, the detail on there is phenomenal for for what it is and so I normally do them about 10 to 10 inches to a foot tall and that is incredible detail so I'm very impressed and so all out of two mil I think it will this is the 900 um, watt version uh, they do, do, do are going to be doing a three a 1300 which will do much thicker that's three mil um, and this is a Kickstarter project so it hasn't actually come out yet as I say it's in association with Sculpt Fun and it will be on Kickstarter soon so I shall put the link in the description so go down and have a look go and have a, a look if you think it's something that you could um, t could use let's try the diode laser I've never used as I say one of these before so I've, I've been learning light burn but uh, obviously many of you will be very very familiar with these but, uh, so I'm just going to skip over this quite quickly and like I say Sculpt Fun I think is the manufacturer or producer or whatever they that it's one of their lasers so I think it will be pretty reliable um, and obviously you can get parts from them that didn't take long even though I sped it up and this is just pushed together no glue no nothing it's just pushed together and it's tight it's pushed together really tight very sharp edges crisp clean not over burnt and that was one pass let's try a bit of engraving then this is engraving on stainless steel and again all I've done is a test piece. I haven't done any actual engraving on this, so this is a first. Just want to see what it can do. This is again, I think it's one mil, or might be 0.8 mil stainless. About 100 percent You can see the test piece I did above it. And that's engraved pretty deep. So there you go. That's not going to come off or wear off. That's really deep. So yeah, go and check out the Kickstarter program. And we'll catch you on the next one.